What up, world? It's your boy, Sporty Black, checking in again, man. Shout out to the notification squad, man. Look here, man. I want to talk about Rolling Loud 2019 down here in Miami, man. I'm calling this shit the Gang Gang Edition. I'm talking about, man, you niggas, you rap niggas went down there, y'all showed y'all natural black ass. <laughs> I'm talking about, man, you had fish fights, you had shootouts, man, you had arrests, you had sting operation undercovers, you know what I'm saying, you know, targeting certain rappers, apprehending certain rappers before they could even grace the stage, um, unluckily, you, we even had a death, somebody got killed down there, man, innocent bystander, man, so we're gonna get to all of that, man, but, first of all, like I said, shout out to the notification game, if you're new to the uh, channel, make sure you hit that sub button before we even get started, okay, so look, Rolling Loud, and some of the other festivals, is kind of the equivalent of hood niggas meeting and linking up at a function where they know a lot of ops gonna be there. For instance, if you on Facebook and you got somebody who always popping off, you know what I'm saying, just being so internet tough, you know, hiding behind the keyboard, got a lot to say, but you know who this individual is and you know they ain't built that way and you finally catch them at a club or at a cookout, wherever you catch them at. But basically you went there knowing that this person was Highly probably was gonna be there, and then when they was there, the first thing he said, "Yeah, nigga, I caught your ass now." So what's up with all that shit you was popping on the internet? And then you commenced to beat his ass. So that pretty much what rolling loud is. You got so many of these rappers, right? That be on social media. They be popping off with each other. You know, they got Auntie Rogers who be beefing with Auntie, Auntie Rogers. And then the fact that this rap industry, you know what I mean, a lot of these females, they've been passed around. And it's the same old chicks, you know what I'm saying, you see it in every video. You know what I'm saying? The same girls. They're sleeping with this this rapper and that entourage, you know, two, three months later, they on to the next rapper and the next entourage who got a little more buzz and who hot at the moment. You know, sometimes people be tender dick and they fall in love with these females and they get attached and, you know, niggas feel some kind of way. That a nigga hitting this chick that he used to hit. You feel me? Like, that's just how it go, man. Just like the MJ, MJG say, the great MJG, he say, now this, this nigga got plexed with me over bitch I'm fucking that he used to fuck with. Now he won't beef with the click. And that's how it goes, man. So, rolling loud, you had a lot of rappers down now. It was alleged that um somebody tried to shoot Young Thug in broad daylight. Then it was alleged that, um, T. Grizzly and an NBA young boy, uh, they had an ongoing beef that a lot of folks didn't know about, right? But um, apparently they two crews got into it, and then they had a shootout in broad daylight. Uh, NBA young young boy, his girlfriend got shot. She in the hot puller. Uh, an innocent bystander little girl, age five, got grazed. You know, she's all right, but unfortunately... Uh, it was another innocent bystander who was murdered during this very shootout. And it all happened at like 2 p.m. in the afternoon, broad daylight, man. And it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this this is not NBA young boy's first time, you know, being in this kind of situation. And apparently, um, T. Grizzly, he's no stranger to the law, you know. Because every rap he rap about, he rap about being indicted and on the run and fighting in different courts and different states for his freedom. You know what I mean? So these guys are kind of used to this. And then a lot of y'all like, man, why are you doing this um uh, this video with these gloves on? Man, look here, man. Anytime I'm finna do some dirt, man, I gotta have the, the gloves on, man. So it's like if you was a rapper down there rolling live, but you should have just wore some of these gloves, man. For real. And free that boy Kodak Black. Uh apparently they had a sting operation set up for him. He came down to perform at Rolling Loud, him and his crew, but apparently, you know, the Miami um, Sheriff Department in cahoots with the U.S. Marshal, that's the feds for y'all that don't know, and the ATF, who also the feds, they all was in cahoots together to 
uh, basically, you know, run up on Kodak Black and and do a search and seize uh, procedure on, you know, the entourage, the tour bus, or the caravan that they was riding in because they had a hunch that they would find illegal weapons, which they did. So they locked Kodak Black up, man, and it seemed like this is an ongoing routine thing for him for this past month, man. Uh, ever since he got into the little beef with Game and T.I. about the little Nipsey Hussle uh, situation with Lord London, it's like ever since then, it's like he been having a lot of bad luck. Some people call it karma. Um, some people call it other stuff. I don't really know what to say, but all I know he is um, in custody right now, you know, waiting to see a judge, hoping he can get a bond and get on up out that jail, man. Uh, only thing I can say is this. This is what I would do. If I was the executive, like one of the heads of one of these big labels like Atlantic, uh, Dev Jam, Interscope, any of these labels who have invested millions of dollars into some of these young rappers, this is what I would do. I would make it a priority of the label to make sure that some of these artists, especially the artists with, you know, um, criminal backgrounds, right? I will make it a point to emphasize that they have the right kind of people a part of the tour entourage, such as you need a tour manager aside from the label. Then you need also need security aside from the label. Then the vehicles need to be aside from the the labels meaning have bulletproof vehicles you know what i'm saying so therefore if somebody shoot at these guys that would you know what i'm saying increase the chances of them living you know making it out of this kind of situation and then you got these um armed chaperones or security or whatever you want to call them there you know what i mean to help you know what i mean keep your bag secure because your bag is the artist. You got to secure your bag. You know what I mean? You got you don't invest millions of dollars to this artist. They going um to do this show, um which gross like thirty some million dollars. So it was a success overall. But anyway, they going to get money for themselves and for the label, right? Because most of the artists in three sixty deals. So the label they get money every time these guys go do some of these festivals and some of these shows. So I think. They need to make a better priority to making sure that the safety of these artists is in, intact. So that's what I would do. You know, now individually, what I would do as an artist, if the label is not, um, you know, basically doing this thing, doing this kind of stuff for me as an artist, I would do this for myself. I would make sure I would have me a couple guys on my entourage who is legal licensed and insured um security guard and then i will make sure that they have you know gun license and then the guns that they carry in are all legal guns and they're accounted for you know what i mean i will make sure all of that is secure so therefore if we ever get pulled over with guns okay yeah that, those are his guns that's my security that's my bodyguard they got license for the guns or they got permits to tote these guns, you know what I'm saying? So we can get up out them jams. It's because it seems like Kodak Black keep getting jammed up, you know what I mean? But if you're an artist, you know what I'm saying, you can have security. Just like back in the day, early 90s, Snoop Dogg was charged with murder because um, his bodyguard killed somebody. And he was there during the, that crime. But, you know, he got off because this was his employee he paid this guy to you know be his bodyguard and so the dude was just doing his job when he had to kill the dude you know what i'm saying who was threatening snoop Dogg's life so you know that's just the nature of the business you know what i'm saying so but all that trying to ride with your homeboys and your gang gang and your pommels and ride with all these ak's and these dracos and now some of these guns you done bought of the black market or you done bought you know what i'm saying they were stolen and all that no 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 all the guns need to be accounted for they need to be clean guns that's registered and the people who in possession of these said guns need to also have the proper paperwork because these folks ain't playing by these pills especially not in certain states certain states have 
are more stricter gun laws than other states. So you need to be weary of what states and what cities that you go into and you need to have some kind of knowledge of the gun laws in said states. And then you need to proceed accordingly, you know. But um, like I said, man, it was ugly, man. Um, rolling loud, man. Hey. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I can't recall no music festival with this much stuff going on. You know what I mean? So many different arrests and fights and shootouts and drive-by attempts and all this stuff right here. You know, and this, in, in Rolling Loud, you know, they have three, four different events each year. They might have one in Miami, then they might be in Cali, then they might be in somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Rolling Loud is every year. But this particular year, maybe it was the location, which was Miami, during the time of the year, which is, you know, it's hot. It's going to be summertime. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know, man, but I just can't recall no other a music festival with this much drama, you know what I'm saying, in one weekend, man, because everybody was out, all the stars was out, all the rappers was out and stuff like that, man, and most of these rappers, the entourages that they roll with consist of street niggas, a lot of criminals, a lot of ex-cons and ex-felons and all that right there, then again, I ain't even gonna say criminal, because hell, I've been to chain gang, and, and I don't consider myself no damn criminal, you know what I'm saying? I was just a young boy who made a bad decision at an early stage of my life. You know what I mean? So um, so I don't want to put that stigma on nobody. So I'm not going to say they roll with criminals. But they roll with, you know, guys, you know, from the streets. You know, that, that I think that's a fair assessment. So, you know, and like I said, man, you know, all this stuff that these people be kicking and, you know, talking and on social media, man, eventually you going to have to face it. Because you go run into some niggas who gonna be like, yeah, bro, what that shit you were saying? And they gonna be ready to either fight or shoot it out. Either way, they gonna be ready, though. They gonna be ready for to really see what's popping. They gonna be ready to test your gangster. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't really built like that, you might need to just cut it, cut it out. All of those social media, you know, popping or whatever, whatever, man. But no further ado, man. I'm Sporty Black. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, like, and share the video. And uh, give me your comments, man, down below what you think about Rolling Loud, you know, overall. And if it was anything that I missed speaking on, you know, add that to the comments below and maybe I'll make another video about it, man. Um, but on Sporty Black, that's all I got for now. And I actually got the gloves on because I'm actually at work, uh, you know. Got my safety glasses and all, man. I'm finna get back in here and get to it. You know what I mean? I got about eight different jobs, man. It's just one of my hats that I wear. But no further ado, man. I'm Sporty Black. I'm gone. Rolling Loud 2019 Miami, a.k.a. the Gang Gang Edition, man. I'm out.